when using controls to style some elements you have the possibility to use static values but you also can use dynamic values um, for example we have a simple box with a headline inside and let's say we want to change the background color of this of this box to blue we can add a new control a color control let's name this um, box background color and now we have this variable and we can use it to uh, for example add a style attribute this is one option but we could also use a style tag When we save this and change to the builder, we have a control and we can change the background color of this box. Cool. But this value is static. So, um, what if, for example, we want to change the state? For example, we want to define the hover state and depending on the state we want to adjust the background color we see nothing changes um, because it's a static value so this is not a way to um, work with dynamic styles we need another way we have also the possibility to use a CSS class for the styles we want to append. Um, let's try it. Um, we click on use CSS class and now we can uh, define a class name. Um, as default value the widget creator will input the value of the field ID. And now we can use this class in our code and can say we want to um, change the CSS property, in this case, background color. And now you can see we get the class variable. When I deactivate it, we have the static value we can use, but so we get a class variable. And this class variable can be used. So I want to delete this one and I say I add a class here and this class is updating the CSS value depending on the current state we can try this Okay, we can still change the, col the color, that's, that's great. And now, if we add another state, you can see this will reset. So I can select another color for the hover state. And when I save it and refresh the window, I see this works. So another thing is the style wrapper class because what if we want to use all these controls we see this will not work because there is no connection yet for this there is a style wrapper class so I can say okay if I want that all styles we define here 
have an effect on an element. I can assign this class to the element I want uh, the changes. For example, for this um, yeah, text, for this headline. So I can say class, style wrapper class. And if I save this and refresh the window, we can see if I change here the font size, it's working well. I can say I want white text. And also this is affecting for pseudo classes. I can say on hover I want a font size from um, 100. And if I save this, is working. We see how easy it is to use dynamic styles for the Bricks Builder using CSS classes.